It's a scale bar. When Trent Stanton set out on a hunting trip back in September, dinosaurs weren't on his mind. I was out calling coyotes. But he saw something unusual that turned his hunting trip upside down. I didn't really know what it was. I just knew it was a bone. So I called a buddy of mine, and he come up, and we kind of dug on it for a minute and realized that it was over our head, so we called Clayton. Clayton is a local rancher and fossil hunter who knows a thing or two about dinosaurs. We featured him in a story last fall after he uncovered two dinosaurs in Phillips County. But this discovery blew him away. My cousins had re reburied it and, and covered it up till I could get there. And uh, when we took that tarp off, I was just blown away by the enormous size of the teeth on this guy. Those enormous teeth belong to a T-Rex, with the longest of them being nearly 15 inches. This, this tooth alone is, is a world record tooth. But we also found this one at this site. It's a, two inches longer than this one that beat the world record. Phipps had some time to excavate, though we covered the site back up to preserve it over the colder months. There's a big hill there. Um, it's kind of a narrow ridge, though, so what we get so what we get. This side's gone, this side's gone, and this side's gone, so it's a narrow point that comes out. Whatever's still in that point is what we'll recover from this animal. Phipps says we'll be back in the spring to find if there are any more big bones in the ground to match the teeth. In the meantime, he's been carefully cleaning and preserving what has been found so far. Will this be the biggest T-Rex ever found? That remains to be seen. Regardless, it's a dino discovery he knows isn't finished, and one with big implications both here in Montana and beyond. This could be a multi-year project. It could be a multi-year project before we even know how much of this animal we get. It's going to be very tedious. You know, there's going to be a lot of dirt that has to be gone through with a knife. You can't just take a dozer and plow one out. You can't. You'll destroy it. In Garfield County, Will Wagner, MTN News.